Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we head to Judge Lacoste's courtroom, whom we don't see very often on this channel, but when we do, it's usually a dumpster fire. Like today, where we have an idiot who finds out the hard way what can happen when you don't take your probation seriously. So let's begin. All right, People versus Anthony Campbell, 227189FY. Mr. Capel appears in person this morning along with counsel Nancy Schaub. Good morning. Good morning. The prosecution does not appear this morning uh, of their own choosing. In regard to the matter then, did you have a chance to go over the resentencing recommendations with Mr. Capel? I did, Your Honor. Um, there's nothing of a factual nature that we need to address in there. Um, I, I did talk to Mr. Capel about his payments. Um, he's indicated that he was planning on paying with his taxes. I think he has some financial difficulties um, due to being in and out of work. Um, so I think he's trying to catch up on some back bills and putting the court on the back burner, so to speak. Advised him that's not a good idea. Even paying $5 a week would make an impression on the court. So I think he'll try and do better going forward. Um, with regard to the drug screen today, he advises me that he will not pass the drug screen. Um, and In what respect are we not gonna pass? said he was going to be positive for marijuana and meth. <sighs> hey, he needed the marijuana to help him come down from the meth. And I love how the judge just lets out a sigh of disappointment. <sighs> and how his lawyer sounds like she'd rather be eating broken glass than allocuting for this jackass anymore. Well, I think that's a real good reason, Mr. Capel, to start looking at why you can't make any probation cost payments. You're spending it all on meth. Anyway, go ahead, Ms. Schaub. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, Your Honor, he he was honest with me that he would not pass. Um, I discussed with him where he got it, and he apparently said it was a gift. A gift? From whom? Methaclause? Or was it one of those gift exchanges where you gifted him some money and he gifted you some drugs? Uh, but obviously, given his circumstances, that was not a wise choice. But he does have a full-time job. If he goes to jail for 15 days, I don't know if that job will be available when he gets out of jail. Um, so I, I don't know what the, the court wants to do with, with Mr. Capel. I don't know how... Um, I had notes prior to his pleading to this that he had been testing clean and doing what he was supposed to do, but apparently he's gotten a little bit off track. I'm hoping the court will give him one more break and not put him in jail today. Thank you. Mr. Capel, anything you'd like to add? Yeah, we're on my, I work at hometown right now. We're reduced to winter hours. What? We're reduced hours right now because it's the slow season. So I'm only getting like 32 ish a week. So it's like 500 bucks a paycheck, roughly give or take after taxes. Um, but I should have enough today for, if not half, majority of the court costs that I owe um, because of four seasons. I clocked enough hours, I think. I'm just waiting on the W 2 SE. I worked there for two days. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that you not paying your probation fees is not what's going to get you in trouble today. It's the drugs. Well, Mr. Capel, anything else you'd like to add? May, May should go back to regular hours. So I'll have a lot better time. How long have you been there? Since July. And what are you what are you working now then? Um, what's well, a rotating schedule? So it's eight, eight to four. 
with Wednesday off, um, and then the Saturday off for my work camp, and then it's nine to four or nine to five with Wednesday off, and then I work that Saturday eight to one. That's if I don't get sent home early, because we have a high school kid that comes in about four, three thirty. I usually let him get a couple hours for the end of the day there. Well, I have some serious concerns here. This was an underlying felony, Mr. Capel. He had two charges of assault with a dangerous weapon, felonious assault, felony firearm, reckless use of a firearm. And it was a very troubling underlying situation. In a dating relationship, argument the day before, pushed her on several occasions, Victim and another victim were present in the apartment. You became upset, retrieved a revolver from your bedroom, brandished the revolver, and demanded everyone leave the apartment. That was pled down by the prosecutor's office. You ended up pleading on a domestic violence, an assault and battery, and a reckless use of a firearm, all in misdemeanor court. That you were placed on probation for in January of 2023. Your bond condition, sir, where you were not supposed to be using marijuana or other types of controlled substances that weren't prescribed to you way back in November of 2022. That was put into place. That continued when you were sentenced in January of 2023. I'll never understand why these morons keep treating their probation conditions like rent to own furniture contracts. There's a huge difference as not complying with one will fuck up your credit and not complying with the other will fuck up your freedom. Now the judge is about to go off on this guy, so grab your popcorn because she's not gonna hold anything back. In regard to the matter then, we've had several blips with your probation, and then most recently what you're being sentenced for today was on September 20th, you had a positive for methamphetamine. Here we are in January of 2024, and your lawyer's telling me you're still gonna be positive. I lowered your payment to $100 a month starting back then in October, and you still haven't made any payments because from what it seems like to me, the money's going out the door. Maybe you've got less hours, but you have not. How do you justify purchasing methamphetamine? You can't. And maybe it was a gift, maybe it wasn't, but now we got September and January on top of everything else going on here. It sounds to me from the behavior that was demonstrated at the underlying charge, you had probably some meth going on that day and an inability to control your anger due to the ingestion of meth. It does not do good things to people. You're lucky you didn't kill somebody that day. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now you come in here telling me, I can't go to jail, judge, because you know I'm going to lose my job and I value my job. If you valued your job, you wouldn't have been doing meth. You know you're being watched. I mean, how bad of a problem do you have when you know you're being watched, you're coming in to get sentenced, for violating your probation, for using meth, and you come in here dirty for meth. That's not my problem. That's your problem. That's a big problem. That's what you're telling me. Red flags going up all over. Problem, problem, problem. Can't even control my behavior enough when I know I'm going to go to court and get sentenced. So I am sorry, Mr. Capel. Sometimes we are our own worst enemies, aren't we? I don't know what to tell you here, but this is absolutely ridiculous. Give me three weeks, I can guarantee. She's clean. not worried about payment. She's worried no, about you doing I can guarantee you clean your way, and then I'll guarantee everyone after that to be clean. Now that sounds like a great idea. One that you should probably start doing as soon as you get out of jail. Yeah, well, you should have been doing that all along, Mr. Capel. So this is where you're at today. I'm going to continue your probation. If you can't establish clean testing, get used to the bunk rack over there, because that's where you'll be back. Your outstanding balance is $7.95. I will allow that continued payment to commence 30 days after his release from jail. Recommence. That was $17.95, Your Honor. What did I say? $17.95. Um, I'm not going to assess another attorney fee. We'll take that off of there. I'm going to order 15 days in jail. Zero days credit. 
I will hold 10 days in abeyance if you successfully pass a drug screen today at booking. If you don't, you will serve the 15 days commencing immediately. Well, looks like he's serving 15 days commencing immediately. You are still required to attend the divert counseling program. You can continue attending that. So, Mr. Capel, if you can't pass the screen today, you're going to be sitting here 15 days. Can you get a check-in date? So no, it's right now. When you, when right you now. get out of jail, you check in with your probation officer as soon as possible. Right now, Mr. Capel, you made this bed yourself. Think about it. You got 15 nights to think about it. And then he'll take you down to probation. Yes, he's going to jail, either for five days or 15, depending on him. So if you test clean, you'll be out in time to go to work on Monday. That key is in your hands. I can't do anything about it. In regard to the matter, that's that. Did you understand your appeal rights then, Mr. Capel? Yes, sir. All right. Bye, have a great time. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. The moral of the story is don't be like this guy because this guy's an idiot. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike. But don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.